Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. I really didn't know what I was doing with my hands there. <laughs> Alright, okay, I am clearly not awake yet today, despite the fact that I have been up for hours and it is now post-lunch, which um, some of you guys know, I sometimes film these post-lunch, I sometimes film these before lunch. Um, I prefer doing them before lunch because then I can just sort of like get on with stuff again after lunch has finished. Um, so after lunch it tends to be when I like to do my uh, workout. Uh, which is what I will be doing after I film this, and yes, it will be after I film this so that I'm not all hot and sweaty for this, because <laughs> my, my virtual coach is very, very hard on me. <laughs> um, so it is now the beginning of June, um, it is I guess the third month of lockdown. <laughs> God, it still seems rude. like such a weird thing to say. Um, I still don't know when I'm going back to work, although I do finally know that it will take about, um, basically, uh, when they eventually give my business manager a date, it will be three weeks away from where we are because it takes about three weeks for um, all the things that they need to put into place to make it safe for us to work to be put into place um, and to get everything ready to to open again um, and as of yet my business manager does not have a date so I'm still at least three weeks away from going back to work <laughs> which you know is at least a piece of information at least I, I know that when we are given a date, it's not going to be like next week. It's going to be like, there's going to be a couple of weeks and I can sort of mentally prepare myself a little bit more. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of at the point where I'm kind of like, yeah, if they told me I had to start going back to work again next week, I'll just go back to work. That's, that's fine. I, I can do that. I can deal with that. Um, at the same time, it's sort of nice to sort of have uh, more of a gauge uh, to the situation and, and kind of what's going on. Um, and, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's going to be weird because what I'm going to go back to isn't going to be what I'm used to. Um, as I mentioned before, I do work in fast food. I am not saying which fast food company I do work for um, because, you know, reasons. Um, lots and lots of reasons, which are very good reasons, so I'm not going to. Um, so yeah, um, you know, it's one of those things where you, you have to be like appreciative of the fact that they are doing what they can to try and keep the, the staff safe, whilst also being like, I don't know when I'm going back to work. <laughs> I've been home for so long, I'm not sure I remember what work is like. <laughs> and this is speaking as somebody who has, yes, on, on previous videos said, I really like my day job, and I do. I remember really liking my day, day job. I also remember it, you know, sometimes being quite stressful and whatever else, but that goes with the territory. You know, there, there are very few jobs that are completely without stress. Um, I mean, even like, even if I were in a position now to become a full-time writer, which I'm not, um, I def most definitely, just based on my sales alone, I cannot afford to be a full-time writer at this point. <laughs> Uh, no, no matter how much I, I might want this existence to continue, but um, there are still things about, you know, about it that can get a bit stressful um, and a bit tiring. I mean, I don't have a proper day off. I, have, I haven't really given myself a proper day off um, from writing for for a while. Um, and, and by a proper day off, I mean sort of doing the bare minimum. So like, even my days off from writing, I'm still doing something. <laughs> But yeah, no, since I started my last writing project, um, and then going straight on to this one, I'm basically, it, you know, any any time that I'm not taking a, taking a bit of a mental break um, in order to sort of rest and, and, and recoup myself before going on and doing more writing or editing, I'm just writing and editing. It's like hours and hours and hours of just writing and editing. It's... Um, it's it's yeah 
but I mean, my plan, um, I'm pretty sure the chapter that I'm writing today is the penultimate chapter, and then the following chapter will be the, obviously the last chapter, um, just based on what I know I kind of want to, to occur, um, without pacing it too quickly, um, that's, you know, I, I think it's one, two more chapters, um, today and tomorrow's chapter, um, and then I will have finished this project. Um, I don't have any ideas in my head for any more of these ones connected to um, the never edited stuff at this point in time. If I come up with something in the future, then obviously I'm going to go back to it. Um, but right now I'm kind of like, you know what, that, that feels like I've, uh, I'm there with it. I'm, I'm, I've got what I need from, from these spin-offs. Um, so, uh, I'll be able to start writing the books for the Shadow to Light and my plan is to go back to my normal kind of way of doing it um, where I'm, I'm sort of slowing it down and I'm not sort of like trying to do a full chapter in one day because that is just really 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 hard um, and I'll give myself a little bit of a break by sort of stepping stepping down for a little bit and, and going back to reviewing for a little bit um, just because I, I think I need a little bit of a mental rest. <laughs> it's, it's been like amazing, like, you know, doing these two books very, in a very short amount of time. Um, they are, you know, they're not, they're, they're good sized books. They are a decent length. Both of them are decent length, uh, young adult books without being too long or too short. So it will be, um, it's been a very, very interesting experience, very rewarding experience, a very draining experience at the same time. Um, so I definitely think, at least to begin with, um, when I start writing the, the Shadow to Light books, I'm just going to slow down my pace to, to what it used to be, um, partly to give myself a bit of a break, partly to get myself used to the fact, you know, because I, I'm definitely going to back, back to work <laughs> at some point and I need to sort of like kind of get myself used to doing a little bit less writing so that my brain isn't stressing that I'm not doing enough writing. Um, so, you know, for, for, that, for, for that reason, to give myself a break, to, you know, allow me to do other things other than, than write because I want to get back to reviewing stuff as well, it'll be good just to sort of like slow the pace down a little bit. Um, so it will probably be a case of continuing to edit No Doors Allowed. Um, and what I'm doing with No Doors Allowed at the moment, because I've obviously I've got those crossover scenes, um, is that I will open No Doors Allowed and I'll open the fourth book um, as well. And as I'm going through the chapter that I'm editing for No Doors Allowed, um, if I come across a scene that has uh, Sly in it, who is the, the main character for the, the fourth book. Um, I am trying to find that scene in the fourth book and then sort of if I make any sort of like major changes those get done you know sorted out straight away if I make any minor changes like if I've, I've noticed like there's a, a comma missing or I replace a couple of words or something like that I'm also making sure that that's happening in, in both books at the same time. Um, there's a big big word documents <laughs> so my laptop doesn't always like having them open together but um that's what I'm sort of how I'm sort of doing it at the moment um just so that uh I'm, I'm making sure that all of those changes are sort of like being done in at the same time in one go um I'll probably once I'm no longer spending all day writing also start editing uh, my way through the fourth book as well, um, along with editing both of the <laughs> both of the spin-off books. So that's that's potentially four books being edited simultaneously, like a chapter a chapter a day. For, for now, at least, uh, whilst I've got the time to sort of be sort of be sort of like doing that. Um, and obviously, once work starts up again, I will focus purely on editing, no doors allowed, and trying to get that um, ready for release before the end of the year. Um, I also still need to chase up those covers for <laughs> the Dollmaker Sun books. I really need to chase up those covers for the Dollmaker Sun books. They need to be released soon. <laughs> they really need to be released soon. Um, 
but yeah, no, that's that's kind of that's kind of where I'm I'm thinking that things were gonna are gonna head from here. So I will do these last two chapters. That's two more full on days of, of writing, um, and then the amount that I'm writing will go down, but the amount that I'm editing will go up. And I will also make sure that I'm getting in time to do to do some reviewing. Although with the reviewing, I'm going to very much be not trying to tackle a full book in one day, which is what I was doing. <laughs> and kind of slow that down a little bit and sort of like, you know, maybe sort of like um, do a few hours of, of reading and then uh, take a break from that and do and go back to the editing or whatever. And uh, and, and sort of, t you know, tackle it a little bit more slowly with that and a little bit more steadily with that as well. So um, I'm, I'm trying, I think, at this point to get myself a bit more mentally prepared for, you know, having to go back to work at some point and having to sort of slow down all of this uh, amazing experience I've had just full on pure out, uh, full on pure out, uh, full on purely focusing on, on my writing and sort of having to sort of like, you know, work things down, uh, mentally prepare myself to go back to work uh, by slowing down the amount that I'm doing. <laughs> um, and also because, as I, as I said, although it's been a fairly amazing experience um, you know, since I started the, the last project, so that was 19 days and then it's been, this is day 18 of the second one uh, because it's chapter 18. Um, I'm writing now. That is, well, uh, <laughs> give me a second to do some math here. So, um, Seventeen, thirty-seven days. <laughs> this is my thirty-seventh day of writing a chapter a day. Um, that is, as I said before, between nine and twelve pages. Um, nine, usually averaging about ten, eleven pages um, most of the time. And this is also, um, and I mean, it wasn't to begin with. Um, I started writing the first one, although by the time I reached the, the halfway point of the first one, I was doing it. Um, I wasn't doing it sort of like prior to that because I was still at that point in time writing uh, the fourth book in the main Never Eating collection. Um, so, I, you know, some time was also being taken from that. But um, once that sort of finished, the, the thing I started doing was um, once I sort of finished writing the chapter for the day, which I usually do by dinner time. Um, and then sort of like, you know, took about, sometimes it's not a very long break. <laughs> I, I've been trying to sort of get the writing sort of finished by about half past six to give myself about an hour, hour um, where I'm completely away from, from the writing and I'm just chilling and I'm, I'm you know, watching stuff and I'm relaxing a little bit and I'm having dinner so that I'm recharging myself a little bit and then editing that chapter. So, um, what I mean by editing the chapter is um, one thing I, I la usually like to do before I send the chapter over to my dear friend Jade for her to, to give it a little read. Um, so I like to go through it myself and see if there are any changes or anything else that I, I want to make because sometimes I will make a decision later on in the chapter which needs to have been supported by something earlier in the chapter or alternatively I'll get to the end of the chapter and, and my brain will have you know picked up on something from earlier on in the chapter and you know it's nice to sort of go back through and, and to sort of do it and that usually adds a page almost always that ends up adding a page so <laughs> And that might be because I've decided I want to change the dialogue a bit um, to make things a little bit clearer. It might be because um, I've decided that I, I need to sort of slow the pace it down a bit, so I add a little bit more uh, of a descriptor here or there, um, just to sort of to clarify things. Because when you're sort of like initially writing it, you're just trying to get the words onto the page. So taking that time to sort of go back and sort of go through it and then add anything you need to. And that usually takes between an hour and an hour and a half, depending on how much I end up adding. Um, 
versus how much I'm just sort of like reading through, scanning, making sure there aren't any obvious mistakes, like writing back when I mean bag, almost every single time. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's it's been very, very full on writing um, through the last month and a bit. Um, which, you know, I'm, I'm sort of reached the point now where I'm kind of like, yeah, I want to get through these these last two chapters, I want to get this one finished, and then I want to go to a slower pace of writing for a little bit and do some reviews and just let myself recharge a little bit um, and also get myself mentally prepared for going back to work because I'm, I know, I know the reason I initially dropped my writing pace was because I found it very difficult to write a full chapter or what was my then full length chapter which is two and a bit pages when I was tired from work um, and I do get up uh, early enough in the morning before work so I can be doing some writing for work um, which I I do do and I will go back to doing um it's probably slightly easier to go back to doing because I'm probably going to be starting work later than I have been um and I'm also going to be finishing work later than I'm used to so it's going to be a whole like shake up to my routine just in general and I you know I want to be able to make sure that my writing is ticking over in a comfortable enough way where when I do have to go back to work you know, I, I won't feel like, oh my god, I really wish I, you know, I'm getting stressed about how much I'm writing because, um, or how little I'm writing, comparatively speaking, because that is, uh, that is what initially happened when I started working for this company and my writing uh, productivity kind of went down, very steadily kind of went down just because I, because I, my shifts at that point in time were all over the place, it was really hard for me to sort of necessarily maintain the kind of routine that you needed to do in order to keep up the writing level that I had been used to. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm sort of very aware at this point that I need to make sure that I'm writing a comfortable amount a day and that I'm not stressing about how much that I'm writing during the day. Um, and also remembering that I can be doing things of an evening. Like, I, you know, like, since since I started editing um, Hyena Boy, or in fact, when I started editing Hyena Boy, my whole attitude to how and when I write has altered anyway. Um, when I write or do writerly things like editing have, has um, altered anyway, because, because I had sort of been in this kind of slump where I wouldn't necessarily do anything after work, apart from just chill. Um, but again, Part of that was because my routine was all over the place um, and it's hard to know when I was sort of like coming and going a lot of the time. And then when I was on like almost always doing the very, very early shifts, um, I, I, you know, basically did not have the mental capacity. <laughs> I, was, I was going to bed like so super early. It's like, yeah, it was just ridiculous. Um, but, you know, once I did actually move on to this much more stable routine um, that I was on, that I did enjoy, it was, you know, it was very easy to then eventually um, for me to kind of go, hey, you know what, I've got enough time of an evening that once I've sort of, you know, re relaxed, chilled and, and had something to eat, I could always be doing some editing work. Um, and now I think I can also get, I can also be doing the writing or the editing work, uh, depending on what I would rather be doing at that point in time. So I'm not just going, okay, it all has to be done in the morning. Um, I like writing in the morning before work so I know that I've done something. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gonna, I'm not entirely sure <laughs> my shifts are gonna work <laughs> when, when, when I go back to work. Um, I'm not entirely sure if, you know, it's gonna be like the full eight hour shifts that I'm used to, or in order to make sure that more people have shifts that we're gonna be on shorter shifts. I, I really, at this point in time, have no idea how it's going to work. Um, all I know is that it's going to be a different routine once I do get back to it and I want to make sure that I'm not overtaxing my writerly brain um, by trying to push myself into doing more than I can do um, once the work stuff starts again and yeah 
I, I think that's that's very much what this video is about. It's me, one way or another, preparing myself to sort of eventually go back to work, which will eventually happen. I don't know when, but it will eventually happen. And when it does happen, I need to be prepared for it. Both in terms of making sure that I'm not stressing, that I'm not doing all the writing work that I've gotten very used to doing. <laughs> and both in terms of me being prepared for my routine to completely alter, even compared to what I was doing um, previously. So, yeah, yeah, I think I think that very much sums up my thoughts, my current thoughts at the moment. I know this sort of video has kind of gone in like multiple directions and then sort of come back on itself a little bit. Um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. I hope you've all enjoyed watching this one. I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I talk about next time and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.